Hi folks. So I know it's been a bit since I made a video, and um, I, I really should get better at doing more of these. But uh, today there was a bit of a discussion uh, because yet again another uh, news outlet has done a story about the dangers of uh, the wrong people getting a hold of a very sensitive key and then proceeded to go and show a bunch of high-res uh, close-up images of that key. Um, and this is a problem, as we've seen with the TSA keys and uh, the NYPD uh, fire key and lots and lots of other things like that. These are keys that are supposed to be used by emergency services or uh, the technicians that service things like oh, gas pumps uh, or payment systems and ATMs, things that, you know, people probably shouldn't be able to easily gain access to. Um, and so, just as a demonstration, I'm going to show you how quick and easy it is to cut uh, by hand one of these keys. Uh, this is going to be the TSA001 because it's a nice, easy one to do and because I've got a good demonstration lock for it. So here's one I made earlier uh, from a photograph. Come on, focus. There we go. Nice and simple. Here's the key, or here's the lock, and pop goes the weasel. Now, what we have here is a photograph I printed off of my computer. It's uh, really pixelated, if you can't tell, but that's fine. It's still going to work exactly the way we need it. And a couple of key blanks. Now, I couldn't source the exact key blank uh, that the TSA-001 is made from, but I got some that has about the right warding and that 10 minutes or so with my Dremel tool uh, easily fixes. So here you can see side by side unmodified key blank, modified key blank. You can see it's a little bit shorter. I cut the tip down and if I flip it around you can see where I've done some grinding on the side to thin it down. So this is now approximately the right size and shape for the actual official key. So next thing we're going to do is we're going to take that uh, not so high resolution image that I printed off my computer. And I'm going to take this Sharpie. I'm going to mark off the center of where each of the cuts are. And what you want to do is you want to line up uh, the shoulder on the image to the shoulder on your key blank. So there's the third cut, there's the second cut, and there's the first cut. So there we go. All marked off. Now that we have those marked, we're going to get our file. Uh, this one is a reasonably nice file. This one goes maybe $15, a little bit more with a handle. Uh, but you can get a set like this with a whole variety for $10 at most hardware stores. So the next thing is I'm going to just try to file right about the center of each of those marks that I made. And I'm doing a terrible job of it already, I can tell. But that's okay. Because these keys really only need to be good enough to fit the really crummy locks that they're designed for. And a lot of these uh, are pretty tolerant of aberrations. So you want to keep your file motions flat and even, which I'm completely failing to do. But again, it's okay. And I try to do it straight across the blade of the key there. Thank you. 
And I know, you know, watching me do this is probably kind of like watching paint dry. But trust me, you don't have long to wait. Now I know from looking at the photo, from looking at the image, that the cut near the tip is the lowest one. So we'll go a little bit deeper than the others on that. Well, now I've done a few passes on each cut. I'm going to shake the filings off my picture there. And I'm going to hold them up. Mm, no, we still have a bit of a ways to go. Not much, but not quite enough. Really kind of hard to keep this at the right angle for the camera to pick it up but I'm doing my best here. Okay, so that's looking a lot closer. Maybe take a little bit off number two. Well, the idea is that using this rounded file, uh, the cuts will also be slightly rounded, and that way uh, the file will sort of center itself after your first couple passes. So let's see how we're doing. Oh, well, spot on. So that's it. Uh, in under seven minutes, uh, I have cut from a photograph a copy of the TSA-001 key and operated a lock with it. So, the next time someone tells you, oh no, it's totally okay for us to put this nice high-res photo of a key uh, as an illustration on our news story about the security vulnerability presented by unauthorized copies of keys, uh, just show them this. Have fun, happy picking, and stay out of trouble.